be 84 over. Now, move over Sherlock Holmes. There is a new detective in town. Author and natural navigator Tristan Gooley is live from our This Morning Forest, along with Daisy Payne, to reveal the different things we can learn from taking a closer look at the trees around us, including finding out where South is. Mm. In... Indeed. Good morning. Welcome to our This Morning Forest, Tristan. Thanks, Daisy. Uh, before we get into reading trees, tell us about how you got into natural navigating. It sounds so cool. I was a really restless kid and I like sort of thinking I'm here, how do I get there? And I found out that navigation was the wonderful art that allows us to shape our own journeys. And then I found out that natural navigation using nature to do that was much more fun than looking at maps and compasses or screens. And you got really into outdoor adventuring, didn't you? Tell us about what you've got up to over the years, because it's, it's pretty epic stuff. Yeah, I just loved this putting together journeys and they started really small. As a kid, I wanted to get up a little hill and then I wanted to cross a lake and the, the little hills became mountains and the lakes became oceans. Uh, and before I knew it, they were they were thousand mile journeys and, I, and the lines on the maps had, had got pretty big. And you hold records for these expeditions, don't you? Tell us a bit about that. Well, uh, yeah, I never I never set out to, to set, set any records, but, I, but what happened was to learn really, really understand navigation, I, I had to put together these really, really strange trips, uh, flying solo to, to the Arctic and, uh, and across oceans and things like that, and then sailing small boats into, into quite, quite weird places. But it was all about the love of navigation, how we find our way. And you're already a best-selling author, so tell us about this new book. Well, How to Read a Tree is it's about all those fantastic clues and signs that every tree holds. No two trees are the same, and every tree is trying to tell us something. OK, so what's around us? Let's read these trees. Come OK, on. OK. The first thing to notice is we've got big trees and small trees, but no medium trees. Can you see? Yeah. That, that's, one of, that's part of our map. What we've got, if we, if we look below this line here, can you see loads and loads of trees? We've got some holly trees and quite a few others. And then above that, lots of tall trees. We've got some pines there. And this is part of the map. Small trees tell us we're getting near to the edge of the woodland. They thrive at the edges. Whereas these mighty trees we're seeing closer to us, telling us we're getting into the heart of the woodland. OK, so these, these big trees, what are they telling us? Can they give us any directions? What's the vibe? Yeah, every tree is making a map, but it's also making a compass. Can you see how we've got these fantastic shapes and we've got Two sides of each tree are never the same. And if we look here, can you see how the branches are all growing out to, to one side? Yeah. They're growing towards the southern light. So if you see lots of branches on one side of the tree, that's it. We, that's telling us that south is probably this way. And check this out. If you come over here... The roots? Yeah, can you see? Again, it's, it's definitely not the same on two sides. We've got some big, big fat roots trying to stretch away on one side of the tree. And it's trying to hold the tree against the winds from the southwest. So the branch is telling us south is this way. The roots growing out there, like um, guy, guy ropes on a tent, yeah. they're holding the tree up. Most of our winds come from the southwest. So these roots are making a compass as well. So that is southwest. Yes, yeah, southwest. From there. the roots. From the roots, branches telling us south, roots telling us southwest, but every single part of a tree will tell us something. The leaves, the branches. Uh, and, and here... Yeah, is this... So you can read bark, can't you? Everybody can read bark. That's, Everyone? That's okay. the whole point, is our, an, our yeah. ancestors could do this and we can do this. We just have to rediscover how to do it. So the bark on every tree is a story and when we learn how to read that, fantastic things to discover. There was smooth bark over there on those trees, but we've got some really good rough bark here. The smooth bark telling us these are social trees. They, they want to be with lots of others. Mm -hmm. This rough bark here is, is, is typical on trees like this birch tree here, where it, it expects to be on its own. It will, it will have to deal with weather and deal with animals. So it's got this tough defensive um, bark here. Mm -hmm. And this silvery whitey colour here is a sign that this is a tree that will be in a sunny spot. It needs some defence. It's a little bit like sunscreen. It wants some defence against the bright sunshine. And then when you look up here, can you see that, that sort of rusty yeah. orange colour? That's a, an algae that only thrives in shade, so we find it on the shady north side of trees. So that is north-facing, based on the colour of the bark. Of the algae on the of bark, the algae yeah. Of the algae on the bark, amazing. Yeah. And 
if I may, this route is that also the southwest? Fantastic, you spotted it. Yeah, you see, you see, it, it only takes a second to learn these things, but once you've learned them, you see them everywhere. Every single tree is full of them. Doesn't matter if you're in a wild spot or in the center of a big town, if you can see a tree, there are dozens of clues to find, and it is such fun solving these puzzles. So what about up here? Is this telling us anything? Yeah, we've got, we've got patterns we've seen we've got the small trees telling us that we, we might we might be getting close to the edge and then through there i can see some birch trees and birch trees have another sign they're telling us that this is a place that's probably been cleared recently uh, so that that might be a track that could be a good way out of the woods oh wow so that is all and and what about the so the height of the trees here these are quite tall but this is all quite low level so this is telling us it might be the way out yes and so some of these things right so we've i've learned a lot already from you <laughs> may i say this has been so cool but can you do this in like an um, urban environment? So if you're out and about in, in cities, what, what can trees tell us in those environments? Just pause for a second, have a look at the bark. You'll see it's not the same on both sides. Have a look at the shape of the tree. You'll see the branches are giving you some, some ideas. And in summer, you can look at the leaves. The leaves are different on the north and the south side of the tree. They're a bit smaller and lighter in colour on the south side, a bit bigger and darker on the north side. Wow, there we go. So Holly and Phil, you can find your way home from the studio later on just on those trees and I know you've got Tristan's book there as well so you can swat up uh, before you head home later. Thank, thank you, you very much. So much. That thank was you. fascinating. Yeah. You just walk past and you don't notice half these things, but now you do. Here it is, how to read a tree and this is, well, is that now? <laughs> Says it there. Yeah. Is that now? <laughs> Go and get it. <laughs> In just a moment.